question you threw a to throw a ball at a uh, uh, to throw a ball towards a wall at a speed of 25 meter per second at an angle of 40 degree above the horizontal and the wall is at a distance of 22 meters so how far above the release point does the ball hit the wall so first let's find the time of flight so uh, if we analyze this using the horizontal motion then we already know the horizontal distance and since there is no horizontal acceleration uh, the speed is constant so the horizontal speed is uh, 25 cosine of 40 degree and the vertical speed is 25 sine of 40 degrees horizontal speed the time is going to be the distance d over the speed 25 cosine of 40 degrees so the distance d is 22 and the speed is 25 cosine of 40 degrees this is the time of flight so this value comes out as 22 over 25 over cosine of 40, which is 1.15 up to two decimal places, 1.15 seconds. Okay, so uh, and now since we know the time, we can easily find the value of the vertical displacement. So the vertical displacement, uh, we can use the second equation of motion that S is equal to V naught T plus half A T square. Uh, so initial is vertical speed is uh, let's take the upward direction as positive. So this is coming as 25 sine of 40 times t, which is of 1.15 plus half acceleration is minus 9.8 because that's acting down and t square is 1.15 whole square. So let me just uh, try to solve this up. 25 times sine of 40 times 1.15 minus 0.5 times 9.8 times 1.15 square so this value is coming as close to 12 meters that is the answer to part a uh, which is the vertical uh, how far above the release point does the ball hit the ground so ball hits the ground at 12 meter above what is the horizontal and vertical component of the velocity and as it hits the ground? So definitely the horizontal component is not going to change, like I said, since there is no horizontal acceleration. So horizontal component of the velocity will still be 25 cosine of 40 degree. And what is 25 cosine of 40 degree? 25 times cosine of 40 degree, which is 19.15 meter per second. Right, this is the horizontal velocity. And for the vertical velocity, we are gonna do, uh, again, do V is equal to V naught plus AT, the first equation of motion. Uh, initial speed is 25 sine 40. Acceleration is minus 9.8. And the time of flight we already have as, we just try to make some space over here, as 1.15. So this value comes out as 25 times sine of 40 minus 9.8 times 1.15. So this value comes out as four, around 4.8 meter per second. That is the vertical component of the velocity while hitting the wall. And in part C, okay, B and C are the vertical and horizon, horizontal and vertical respectively, which we found. And has it already passed the highest point of its trajectory? So uh, the time at which it passes through the highest point is given by uh, V naught sine theta over G. It's actually half of the uh, total time of the projectile. So it's half of 2 V naught sine theta over G. Now, V naught is 25 sine of theta is 40 over 9.8. So this will be the time at which it reaches the highest point. So let me just grab my calculator. This value comes out as 1.64. So clearly, uh, 1.64 after 1.64 second, it will reach the highest point, but it hits the wall at 1.15 only. So clearly, it has not yet crossed the highest point since 1.64 is less than 1.14 sorry 1.164 is greater than 1.15 seconds and 1.64 is the time to reach 
highest point. Thank you.